This topic is about the types of eggs. Eggs are classified based on the amount of yolk present in them, based on the distribution of yolk in them and also presence of shell in the egg. Based on this, the eggs are classified. First, on the basis of amount of egg, amount of yolk present in the eggs, eggs are classified into four different types. The first one is alicetal. Alicetal eggs or the eggs where the amount of yolk is negligible. So negligible amount of yolk is present. Such eggs are called alicetal eggs. Alicetal eggs are found in human. The human eggs are alicetal. Microlicetal eggs, the amount of yolk is very less very less amount of yolk is present those are called micro lecithal eggs micro lecithal eggs are found in your eutherians eutherian mammals and in metatherians we come across micro lecithal eggs meso lecithal eggs is the moderate quantity of yolk moderate quantity of yolk that is almost all cytoplasm is equal to the amount of yolk in the cytoplasm the amount of yolk is almost equal that's called your mesolecithal eggs and mesolecithal eggs are found in amphibians and also in dipnoi fishes in amphibians and in dipnoi fishes the eggs are mesolecithal Megalecetal, it's the egg with large amount of yolk. The amount of yolk is large. So it's more than the cytoplasm. Megalecetal can also be known as macrolecetal because more amount of yolk is present. And such eggs are found in reptiles. The eggs of reptiles and eggs of birds exclusively eggs of reptiles and eggs of birds are megalocytal and also in insects the eggs of insects are also megalocytal eggs right so this is based on the amount of yolk the eggs are classified into alocytal eggs right with very negligible amount of yolk microlocytal with very less amount of yolk, mesolecetal moderate quantity where the amount of cytoplasm and yolk are almost equal in amphibians and in dipnoi fishes. Where in megalocetal, it's large amount of yolk in reptiles, birds and insects. Next, based on the distribution of the yolk, like you can see isolecetal. So in the egg, this is entire cytoplasm in the cytoplasm this is all this red i mean these uh, green color structures this is yolk yolk is distributed evenly or i mean complete evenly in the cytoplasm that is called isolecetal this is possible if the amount of yolk is less or negligible amount so such isolecetal eggs can be found in alacetal so your alacetal eggs as well as microlacetal eggs alacetal as well as microlacetal or isolacetal where amount of yolk is very less or it's negligible amount so their distribution in the cytoplasm is a very i mean evenly distributed in the cytoplasm it's called isolacetal if the yolk is unevenly distributed in the cytoplasm it's called telolacetal with the even distribution we call isolacetal equally distributed uneven distribution is called telolacetal in telolacetal they are moderate telolacetal and discoidal in moderate telolacetal so one side of the egg is with cytoplasm and the other end of the egg is with yolk where cytoplasm is concentrated that part of the egg 
is known as animal hemisphere this is known as animal hemisphere and where yolk is concentrated that side of the egg is called vegetal hemisphere this is animal and vegetal hemisphere if you consider this is a spherical i can say that on the top of this animal hemisphere this is generally what we call it as animal pole and at the opposite end this is known as vegetal pole so these terms are important when you study cleavages right so this is moderate telo lecithal where yolk and your like uh, cytoplasm are distributed at different portions like where uh, cytoplasm is present that becomes the animal hemisphere where yolk is present that's called vegetal hemisphere next you know, discoidal in discoidal type of egg, eggs where cytoplasm is present in one end in the form of a disk in the form of disk in the form of disk and whereas most of the egg is completely filled with yolk this is discoidal telocetal in both of this yolk is distributed unevenly next in centrolocetal eggs this is the cytoplasm which is peripheral cytoplasm in the peripheral cytoplasm yolk is concentrated in the center this is called centrolocetal centrolocetal types of eggs are found in insects your moderate telolocetal types of eggs are found in amphibians and your discoidal eggs are mostly me me uh, megalocetal type of eggs which are found in birds reptiles and also prototherians have discoidal type of eggs right and your centrolocetal eggs are found in insects eggs are also classified on the basis of shell presence and absence if the shell is present such eggs are called as cleidoic eggs so in cleidoic eggs they are covered by hard shell so if hard shell is present the eggs are called cleidoic eggs these eggs have an adaptation for terrestrial mode of development those all the eggs which are adapted for terrestrial mode of life so they have hard shell which is surrounding them because this shell protects from desiccation such cleidoic eggs are the eggs which are found in reptiles and birds they have cleidoic eggs and also eggs without shell or non cleidoic non cleidoic eggs are without hard shell a simple definition there is no hard shell right the eggs that are produced by viviparous animals mostly i can say that there are mammals viviparous mammals sharks also they are viviparous and some of the sharks right and this non cleidoic eggs are eggs of those animals and also those all the animals which are not viviparous like fishes and amphibians where the eggs are laid in water those are also non cleidoic eggs so for a non cleidoic eggs you can take an example of the eggs produced by viviparous animals all this viviparous animals eggs and also the eggs of fishes and amphibians because in fishes and amphibians the eggs are not laid on land they are produced on produced or they are laid in the water so this is based on the uh, an amount of yolk that is of four types this is based on the distribution of yolk this is based on the shell presence and absence and also there are membranes surrounding the egg we call them as primary secondary and tertiary egg membranes so just we'll have a 
quick glance on those membranes of the ovum. Egg membranes. So we have primary egg membrane. Primary egg membranes. Primary egg membranes are the egg membranes secreted by the ovum itself. Those are known as primary egg membranes like zona pellucida is a primary egg membrane which is non-cellular, which is a glycoprotein layer. Next, secondary egg membranes. Secondary egg membranes are produced by the ovary. Secondary egg membranes are those which are produced by the ovary. If an ovary produces the membrane surrounding the ovum, it's called secondary egg membrane. The secondary egg membrane Example is corona radiator. Corona radiator is a secondary egg membrane. Other than the ovary or ovum, if the uterus or oviducts, if they form membranes, we call them as tertiary membranes. So generally the tertiary egg membranes include jelly coat shell jelly coat and shell or the tertiary egg membranes jelly coat and shell or the tertiary egg membranes so coming to your human eggs human eggs have the primary egg membrane as well as secondary egg membrane in human eggs there is primary egg membrane called zona pellucida which is produced by the ovum itself and secondary egg membrane is called corona radiator is produced by the granulosa cells of the follicle now based on all this when you i mean find out what kind of eggs are human produce like mammals like viviparous mammals like eutherian mammals produces like in human eggs the eggs are number one alacetal eggs right eggs with negligible amount of yolk and the eggs are of homolacetal type because distributed equally and number three eggs are non cledoic eggs and the membranes surrounding the egg are two membranes one is primary egg membrane zona pellucida which is the innermost layer and second egg membrane is corona radiator which is the outermost membrane